Well, two of my daughters went to Lehigh, and um, I was at one of their baccalaureate services in Packard Chapel. You know, we got there early, and we're sitting at the end of an aisle, and we're in this obscure corner of the chapel, and I look on the wall, and I'm look, always looking for things to read, and um, I saw this plaque, and it, I went over, and I, and I stood up, and I read it, and it said, dedicated to the memory of Francis Willis, class of 1928, who on his 21st birthday gave his life to save the life of a child. I wrote it down on an index card and I got home and I called Lehigh and the people in the media relations knew nothing about this. They said, oh gee, you know, we've, I've seen the plaque but I really don't know anything about it. So I just kind of put it aside in a drawer and uh, forgot all about it. Maybe 15 years later, I'm going through the drawer and I find the index card. So I started looking into it and it was fascinating. One of the aspects of the story that made it so interesting was I also went looking for a, a descendant of Francis Willis. Now, he never married, so he didn't have any children, but I found uh, his uh, grandniece, her son, was a professor at Duke. So I called Duke, got a hold of him. He said, oh, you know, my, I heard my mother talk about this guy over the years, and he said he was really quite a young man, and first in his class and this and that. And she said, I think, he, I think she has some clippings around about him. So she said, he said, why don't you come to Williamsburg? I'm going to be up there visiting her in a couple weeks, so I, I drove down. And while I was there, I went in the house and they, had ev they were looking for this thing. So they had photos and clippings and letters spread out all across the floor. And s while I was there, she opens this drawer and she says, here it is. And she brought out this scrapbook and it says, Francis Willis. See, see here's like some of the wires that Harry has just wired us over the tragic death of your son. He lost his life in a noble sacrifice. Just amazing. I mean, I've gotten so many emails on people that were just amazed that a story like this had never been told, and that uh, and and that said in this in this day and age when you know things appear so dark, it's so nice to hear a story about heroism and virtue and uh, you know philanthropy. Uh, it just made people, I think, feel good. There he is in his wrestling. Tugs. I'm so glad for the people involved that this story got out there about their, about their lives and about their ancestors' lives, and which, you know, kind of shed. I'm, I'm sure their their descendants are going to love having this story there to look at and say, you know, this I was related to this guy who performed this wonderful act of, you know, selflessness. Uh, so yeah, uh, it, it, there aren't many stories that, that come together like this one did. I can only think of maybe two or three in my whole forty-some year career. So. <laughs>